Welcome back to Smart Mouth Beauty. I'm Heather and this is my sister Holly. And today, we have a very fun video, I think. We have created a spring beauty tag. We went online, we, thought, we were thinking about video ideas the other day, and we thought, well, we haven't done a tag video in a while, so we thought it would be fun to do a spring beauty tag. And we were like searching, couldn't really find anything, mm -hmm. so we made our own. Yeah, okay. Here so we here go. we go. There's gonna be, there's, well, technically we're supposed to be 10, but she didn't give me five, she only gave me four. But so there, there's only nine questions, but that's okay. Still a tag. It's still a tag video, so let's get started. <laughs> um, one of the spring trends this year is healthy glowing skin. So what do you have in your daily skincare routine that will help you get healthy glowy skin? You know, coming straight out of winter, we need to sloth off Ooh, sloth. all of the dead I like skin. That word. So we, we definitely did um, some, uh, in our video, our wintertime video, we talked about exfoliating. So you definitely want to ramp up the exfoliation heading mm -hmm. um, out of winter into spring. Something that I've added to a um, skincare routine is like a glycolic acid uh, peel pad. That sounds really intense. It is awesome. I have this one from Serious Skincare. It's a glycolic retexturizing pad, and it comes in a little thing like this. When you open it, um, it is filled with liquid, so you want to be very careful, but they are little wipey pads. They are awesome. Where'd you get this? Amazon. Oh, okay. So it's, would it be for someone with sensitive skin? That's, or is it just a little bit too harsh? No, I would definitely say anyone can use this. It is mild. Um, it's When you think of a glycolic peel, you think of something that happens at the uh, dermatology or esthetician office. This is an at-home product. You absolutely can use it at home. It's very safe. Even though it has a little tingle, I don't want that to scare you. It, it's, it, it's doing its job. Sometimes that tingle is just where it's doing its job. Okay. I definitely well, maybe think we people need to do a, a separate video on, on that because we're getting a little carried away on question one. Okay. Um, that's very interesting though. I don't mean to cut you off, but it's my turn. Okay. okay. <laughs> Back to the question. What do we do in our routine for healthy glowy skin? I have been, obviously I complained all winter about having excessively dry skin. I work in a very dry office where I'm like, practically parched and then I got sick and I was sick for like three weeks yeah and so my skin was even more dehydrated because I was taking Benadryl and other you know drying up medication so I have been on the argon bandwagon like I put it on my skin twice a day I'm like that wearing oil? it now the oil okay like slathering myself with oil and I was using a sample that I got from Josie Marin the light argon oil which is spectacular except a little bitty thing like this is $44, mm -hmm. which I just can't get on board with. So, because I'm using it so much. Um, fabulous product, it's just out of my price range. So I have been using the Physician's Formula Argon Oil where you get a bottle like this for $14.95. Yes. yes, it is wonderful. Anyway, okay, question okay. two. What is the first beauty thing you think of when the weather warms up? Like we just had a warm snap yesterday. It was like 77 <laughs> in February in Kentucky. Like it's unheard of. So what was one of the first things you thought of when you knew that Saturday was going to be in the 70s? Lip gloss. Lip gloss for me is spring because I don't wear lip gloss in the summer because of two reasons. It's too sticky and top. I have a convertible. So in the summer and the top's down, you're going 80 on the express. When you're going 55, mom, on the expressway. Mm -hmm. When you're going 80 on the expressway right. and you get to your destination, you got dirt all over your lip gloss, you know what I'm saying? It's, or in it's your disgusting. hair. It's disgusting. It's nasty. And like you pull your hair and it's So okay. spring is the perfect time for that really shiny, glassy gloss. So that's Very what I good. think of spring. Because in the winter, I don't do a lot of gloss. I do mattes or, or you know, satin or dark lipstick. But spring, okay. Okay. I, the first thing I thought of when I knew it was going to be in the 70s is my feet. Ew. No, I, honey, I have not had a pedicure, a pedicure well, or a manicure, but more to the point, a pedicure since Christmas. 
and we went to a party last night. Some oh, friends of ours yeah. um, are getting married, and they went to an engagement party. And I knew because it was going to be in the 70s, and I wanted to wear open toe shoes. So you know, I was at the at the um, so what color the did nail you do? salon? It's like a fuchsia color. No, I'm not going to put nice. my foot up on camera. No, no, but no. For real. Okay. okay, all right. Question number three: What is your favorite part of spring, beauty or otherwise? The smell. The smell. I okay, think the smell of, of the air. No. <laughs> Like daffodils and jonquils. What is it? Jonquils? I call them jonquils. Okay. Right. Just the flowers. The smell of spring, I think, smells good. The the dogwood trees are in bloom. Yeah. We live in a really pretty part <clears throat> of the country where we have very defined seasons. Yes. And with that comes very defined um, foliage. So, okay. okay. So, my favorite part about spring, beauty or otherwise, I'm back to my feet is not having to wear socks and winter shoes. I can I just don't like putting socks on. I don't like socks. I just like either. have like this problem with my feet. Like I want to be able to get dressed, put my feet in some sandals or flip-flops or whatever and go. So yep. that's what I think. I'm when it's you. warm, I'm like I'm with you anyhow. sockless. Okay. <clears throat> so, do you do your hair differently in the spring? I have to think about how I do my hair. I don't necessarily do it differently, but I do have to think about it because there is a lot of moisture in the air where we're from. April showers bring May flowers is the saying. So it's really it's very humid. humid. Mm -hmm. So I do have to think if I'm going to curl my hair, I have to allow it to just do its thing. Uh, in the winter, I can do very structured curl, but in the spring, the humidity is going to inflate it. And so I do have to think, okay, should I put a little hair oil in? Should I put a little pomade? You know, I do have to think about my hair a little bit more. I, I just I just put my hair up. Or I just, just get it the big sassy bun. I just do the sassy bun or I do the uh, messy bun or I do a low ponytail or I do a high ponytail or mm -hmm. I do some I don't know it's like the huge trend with the young girls and we'll need to visit this on another in another video but braiding your hair is like huge huge trend right now and I am just I don't we'll have to address that like braiding your hair over 40 if it's a if it's a yay or a nay but Okay. Anyway, so um, what question are we on now? Number five, what clothing item are you most excited about wearing in spring? Okay, let's talk about this because I love all of those really cool lightweight scarves mm -hmm. that you can like twist up. What are they? The infinity scarf? Mm -hmm. I have so many in so many different spring colors um, and they're so lightweight that you can wear them in spring. Mm -hmm. the, the sad thing for me is that I can't wear them to work. True. Because I can't like lean over someone at the shampoo bowl, it's gonna like scrape their face, and I'm right. And then you color. can't see them. Right, right. My favorite clothing <laughs> item. We're back to my feet again. Like I might really have a problem, and I didn't even realize this. It's like my one <laughs> flip flops. Like I'm wearing them right now. Okay, I was very excited about flip flops and capri pants. So you do have a couple of cute capri pants. I do. So, um, number six, do you have a springtime fragrance or candle scent that you that you like? Yes, I like a little bit of a citry, a cit citry, a citry. You heard it here first. Citrusy. I think I was going for citrusy. Escada has wonderful citrus fla uh, flavor. <laughs> Every spring, Escada brings out their fragrance, and it's usually like a, either a pineapple or a grapefruit, something with that citrus, and it is so wonderful for spring. I like honeysuckle. Oh, like I'm a big fan. Oh, honeysuckle, suckle, 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 suckle. Suckle. Okay, look. <laughs> Don't start that. I really like honeysuckle, or I like lily of the valley, or hydrangea. I just really like, but I don't want to be so, I don't want to walk around smelling like a florist, right. but I do really appreciate springtime um, flowers. Yeah. <laughs> so what is your favorite spring lipstick color? Uh, I, I tend to stick with the mauves, something pink based because that goes with my skin tone, sort of like what I have on now. Mm -hmm. Me too. I mean, just like a neutral, neutral with gloss. With then top yeah, with the, the gloss. Yeah, the gloss, definitely. Yeah. So, what is your favorite spring nail color? <gasps> I want my fingernails to look like Easter eggs. 
So I went yesterday to get my feet done, so then I had to do my hands. And I'm looking at the different um, pastels, the different pastels, it's and I don't awesome. know sure if this is coming, pulling up on camera, but it's like this milky white color with like pistachio. Yes, if it's I had pistachio, it's like pistachio I was because it's sort of a light mint. But, but it's if it's a gel, pistachio. and they don't have like the colors listed, so it's like a number. Right. right so right, anyway, right. it's like a pistachio green color, which I'm all about that. So pastel you can wear on your nails and not your hair. Okay, and the last and final question is, what is spring like where you live? Itchy. So, it is itchy and sneezy. <laughs> it's itchy and sneezy. We're just like snow white storms here. No, I mean, it's rainy, yeah. and it, there's lots of pollen. There's lots of things in bloom. Yes. It's very, very pretty. Yes. Rain. And sneezy. And sneezy. And Flonase is your friend. And, and what I always notice here, even though we definitely have four very distinctive seasons, mm -hmm. I think spring's pretty quick. It is really quick because as as is fall. It seems yes. like our predominant seasons are winter. It's either you're either freezing your tukas off or you're boiling freaking hot. Yes. And there's only like maybe six days out of the year where you're comfortable. Right. Which okay. Two happen in spring and then the rest in fall. No, right. I'm with you. And I'm so with you. it's like one seasons. day it's like okay, it's fifties and it's raining and it's yucky, and then the next day it's like seventy and sunny, and then and amazing. like within a week it's like. 95 and sunny and right. I mean it go it transitions that quickly yeah. so um, we hope that you enjoyed our spring beauty tag it was really fun to come up with these questions and so we are going to tag three people that um, we would love to see if they if they have time to do this tag so we like to tag Kristen Game, yeah Lisa from daily essentials and Mandy from Mandy's closet you know who you are and anyone else who would like to do this tag if you do videos and you would like to do this tag the questions are listed down below yeah. and please tag us so that we know that you've that you've done the tag and we look forward to it and we hope you have a great spring season. Should we do and a hashtag smart mouth beauty? You definitely. That yeah. Okay. That's, that, yeah. Okay. <laughs> so we'll see you next time. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye. Bye. Your leg leaning against my uh -huh. leg makes With, my leg sweaty. Yes. No, I have sweaty leg. Sweaty leg. <laughs> Are we in frame properly? Yeah. Here we go. Okay. They have a little bit of a smell, There's and when you first... siblings I'd be like what is that it's like it really wasn't even that funny but because it was her and it was me like suddenly it becomes that funny <sighs> we're very sorry but it's clean. oh no it's like a clean it's like a it's clean, clean yeah it's like, so what you do is you wash your face exfoliate all that kind of good stuff you blot it dry a little bit and you take one of these and you what <laughs> All right, so you exfoliate. Wait, you wash your face. To, okay, you wash your face. Let's go back to here. Do you want to smell it? <laughs> okay, here you want to smell? Yeah. It smells really clean and fresh. So you wash your face, oh, exfoliate. Yeah. Like you that. kind of pet it dry a little bit, and you take one of these. You wipe it all over your face, and then you throw it away. So they are disposable, very sanitary. Although you know, I'm about to put that back in, but. It does tingle a little bit. What is that? I was gonna say, does it burn? Yes. Like because you've exfoliated. Exactly. So I'd be scared. Like, is it? It tingles like around my nose, um, but it. On I bring it all the way down on my decolletage, but it feels so good, and you will notice. <laughs> <laughs>